everyone. Good to see you. Well, let's start. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves me. One, two, Jesus loves you. Three, four, he loves you more than you ever been loved before. Five, six, seven, we're going to heaven. Eight, nine, he's a friend of mine. Nine, ten, it's time to end. But instead, let's learn the number zero to ten. Well, welcome back to our new series where we learn about numbers. Well, let's find out which number we're going to learn today from Teacher Sam. Ready? Okay, so the number is one. So let's see like how we're going to do zero and one in sign language from our friend Abigail. Zero, one. And your turn. Zero, one. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Abigail. Did you do it? Zero and one. Okay. Well, now let's look at the shape of number one. Well, let's see. That's not the, the difficult one. Oh, number one. Straight line. Right? And you can make it a little fancier by adding the little um, couple of lines, like a little slight line here and a cross straight line down there. And this is also number one. So let's get your magic finger out and let's try the simple one. Number one. Ready? Straight line. Number one. And let's make it into a fancier one. You can start with going up a little bit on down and add the cross straight line at the bottom did you do it that's a fancier style okay and how about the spelling how do you spell one sounds like a w sounds like reminds me of w but we start with oh hmm it's a little wobbly o and one n sound like nodding nodding remember that is n and what's the last one well this is the one you're not going to sound it out that is e so o n e says one when i see that shape of number one. This reminds me of a flag ball. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and learn the number one in French. So remember last week we learned zero, which is zero, and today we're gonna learn one, which is Un. Right? Ready? So let's do it. Seho. Un. There we go. Bye. Well, thank you, Teacher Sam. It's so fun to learn that, learn how to count the number in a different language, right? Well, now we're going to have our friends Akari and Shiori and Yoshi. They're going to show us how to count in Japanese. Well, so take a look. Eight. Eight. Wow, that was cool, wasn't it? Well, Akari, um, the oldest of the siblings, she showed how to count the number in Japanese in karate style. And Shiori and Yoshi, they did it in kendo style. Did you enjoy it? Well, each week, um, Abigail and Teacher Sam and Kobayashi kids, Akari, Shiori, Yoshi, they're going to be showing um, how to count the number in a different language in a different way. Wouldn't that be fun? Well, that would be wonderful. So now it's time to listen to Teacher uh, Sue's story time. Enjoy. 
Hello boys and girls, it's so good to see you and we are going to be talking all about numbers and today's number is, look down over here, it's number one. And how many birthday candles do we have? Just one. Oh, so today I'm going to be telling you all kinds of different stories that are about the number one. So here we go. Okay, today I'm gonna to tell you a story about one big hungry fish and let's see what happens, but oh, I have, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Big Fish, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Big Fish fish as quietly as can be. Stop! Oh no! He ate one! How many do we have now? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Big Fish. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along came Mr. Big Fish as quietly as can be. Stop! Oh no, he ate another one. How many do we have left? We have one, two, three. Three little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Big Fish, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along came Mr. Big Fish as quietly as can be. Snap! Oh no, he ate another one. How many do we have now? We have one, two. Two little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Big Fish. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. <gasps> Along came Mr. Big Fish as quietly as can be. Snap! Oh no! He ate another one. How many do we have left? We just have one. One little fishy swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Big Fish. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along came Mr. Big Fish as quietly as can be. Snap! Oh no! Now we have no little fishy swimming in the sea. Instead, we just have one big fish that's very full and he says burp thank you very much bye boys and girls so today boys and girls we're talking all about the letter one and I have one of many different kind of animals that actually live in this tree so let's see who all is living in this tree are you ready we'll start way up here what's this it's an owl one little owl living in the tree, looking at you and looking at me. Now let's move over here. Oh, what is this over here? This is a squirrel. One little squirrel living in the tree, looking at you and looking at me. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a bird and it's called a blue jay. One little blue jay living in the tree, looking at you and looking at me. Now let's look down over here. What do we have? What's this? It's a butterfly. One little butterfly living in the tree, looking at you and looking at me. Now let's go a little bit farther. Let's look over here. What's hiding behind here? It's a robin, that's right. One little robin living in the tree, looking at you and looking at me. Now we're gonna go way down, right down under the tree and we have a fox, that's right, it's a fox. One little fox living in the tree, looking at you and looking at me. So there's lots of different animals that live in the forest, but they love to live in the trees. So there we go. So we've talked all about the number one today, but I think we have one more job to do. 
we need to blow out our candle. Okay, here we go. We got to take a big deep breath. Everybody get ready. You blow it out with me. Okay, here we go. We're going to count to three and then we're going to blow. Are you ready? One, two, three. <gasps> All gone. So next week, we're going to talk about the number two. We'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, it's time to be thankful for with Froggy. Well, we're going to be thankful for something that we see only one in the sky. I wonder what that will be. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Open up, Froggy. Okay, Froggy, what do you have? Oh, it's a book. Book of sun. Wow, thank you, Froggy. Well, you can wait here, and I'm going to read the book of the sun with you. Ready? Sun. When the sun rises, it is day. The sun lights and warms. Lights and warms. Lights and warms. When the sun sets, it is night. Well, quite simple book, but it's a beautiful picture. They have beautiful pictures. Well, let's give Thank God for giving us sun. Well, did you do it? Make a circle up there and shine on you. Sun. Okay, here we go. Thank you, God, for giving us sun. Thank you, God, for giving us sun. Thank you, God, for giving us sun. Right where we are. Here we go. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right where we are. Let's pray. Well, dear God, thank you for giving us the sun. Well, sun give us the heat and energy that we need to live and grow things on the earth. When we see the sun in the sky, it makes us feel so happy. And God, you're like the sun, one and only. And when we are with you, well, it makes us feel warm inside and happy. Well, we love you. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. We're going to say goodbye in a new language. Remember? This. Japanese. Sayonara, minasan. That means goodbye, everyone. Here we go. Ready? Sayonara, minasan, sayonara. Sayonara, minasan, sayonara. Sayonara, minasan, sayonara, minasan. Sayonara, minasan, sayonara. Okay, Froggy, come on over. Sayonara, matane. See you again.